It's been shown to quickly increase cortisol levels by up to 50%, 50%. And in fact, it's clinically significant. People who live in areas of the world where during winter, there's very little availability of sunlight and just rely on artificial indoor lights often suffer from what's called seasonal affective disorder. The protocol I just described is exactly the same protocol that they have used successfully to offset seasonal depression. Now, I realize that most of you listening to this don't live in areas of the world too close to the poles. So no doubt you get more sunlight available to you during the winter than you do if you were to say live in Scandinavia or down at the South Pole. However, these days, most people are not taking advantage of those early hours of the day to get outside and get bright light from sunlight or from a 10,000 lux artificial source. In fact, most people just look at their phone or flip on a few indoor artificial lights, and that is not going to be sufficient to boost your cortisol levels the way you need to in order to achieve the kind of elevation and mood focus and alertness and that can offset things like not just seasonal depression, but mild depression, malaise, lack of daytime energy, and on and on. So this thing about viewing bright light early in the morning, it's a real thing from the standpoint of the mechanism is understood, the ideal timing is understood, the magnitude of the impact on cortisol is very significant, these are big effects, and it's clinically significant with respect to mood, meaning you're going to feel more energized, you're going to feel better. Okay, so now that you understand that getting your cortisol high upon waking is the right thing to do, this is what you want. Let's talk about some of the other things you can do besides viewing bright light in order to increase your morning cortisol. But keep in the back of your mind that viewing bright light is the foundation. Okay, so you wake up in the morning and as quickly as you can, you get bright light into your eyes. 